Hey everyone, welcome back to Luxury with Calvin. I'm Calvin. Duh. Um, today we are talking about the brand new, uh, I have here the Hourglass Foundation. What are you called? Hourglass Soft Glow Foundation. So I bought two shades in the Soft Glow Foundation and I also bought the Vanish Airbrush Primer, which we're going to put to the test because I've never used them before. Um, and I'm also going to do a wear test along with the primer foundation. We're also going to add in the new Laura Mercier powder that I just reviewed. Um, thank you to everyone that has subscribed and watched the video. Thank you to everyone. Continue to subscribe and watch. Um, but we're going to do a wear test today on these products. So, uh, let's get started. So that's the brand new Vanish Primer. And then we have the new Vanish Foundation. I bought two shades because um, I have no clue what color I am. So I bought 10.5 and 11.5. So here are the two foundations. This is what it looks like. So I bought 10.5 and 11.5. So we're going to try them out. Um, I think what I am going to do today because... I kind of want to test the abilities of the foundation on its own and I kind of want to test so maybe I might do one side with primer and one side with just foundation this is my really textured side I'm having a little bit of allergic reaction to something um, don't know what it is but I'll figure it out and I'll definitely let you guys uh, post I'll keep you guys posted as well but let's go ahead and let's do We'll do one side primer and then one side just foundation. So primer, foundation, and then just foundation. So let's try out this new Vanish Primer, which is not pumping out. There we go. Before we actually do that, let's do the claims. Okay, so this new primer from Hourglass, is, is it claims to be a translucent skin perfecting primer that smooths absorb shine and adds a visibly blurred Airbrush finish while extending makeup wear. Um, so I'm adding that all over. It definitely has, so as you first put it on, it has like a, like a gel consistency. Like a thicker gel consistency. And then as you rub it in, it turns into like a silicone. Like a silicone feeling. Really silky. Like a silicone primer. Um, and this primer is... Ooh, child, you pricey. You are $56. So that is the primer on this side. And then while we're at it, why don't we also read about the new foundation from Hourglass? Okay, so the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation is $58. Again, very pricey. Um, it claims to be a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with the lightweight with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. And it has a medium coverage. Well, that sounds amazing. So let's see how that performs. Okay, so I just did my whole left side, or I guess it would be your right side. <laughs> I just did my whole left side uh, with the primer. Um, so let's go ahead and let's see what shade we are. I have a really strong feeling that I probably picked too dark, but we'll see. We'll find out. So I'm going to start off with here is 10.5. Oh yeah, you are a little too dark. And dang, that's pigmented. And then here is, by the way, that's what, that's what happens when you shop for um, foundation in store. Oh, that's orange. So if you guys can see, this is 11.5. It leans more on the peachy orange. And this is 10.5, which has a little bit more of like an olive undertone, which is good for me. So that will be my closest match. So let's try 10.5. All right, so I'm just going to use my... Actually, I'm going to pull the mirror up a little closer, but I'm going to use 10.5. I'm just going to pump this like a pump because I hear it's very pigmented. Well, it was very pigmented. I'm going to use my Sephora brush and we'll just... Um, We'll just start. Let me grab the mirror a little closer. Okay, first off, uh, the, it blends super easily. Like it's really, it blends really soft and easily. That's something what I noticed on the right off the bat. 
The shade is not bad. The shade is not green enough compared to my neck. If you guys move that out of the way, if you guys can see. It's it's a good it's a good match, but it's not it doesn't it has like a good depth, but it doesn't have the right it doesn't have enough green undertone. That's the problem with um see my biggest thing with brands that launches like in the beginning and they only do this whole online exclusive thing that really irritates me don't do that like don't launch a new product and have it only be online exclusive us consumers want to go into the store especially if it's like a foundation we need to test it on ourselves or at least have the artist the artist at the store test it on us to see what shade we are you know we can't we're not, we don't want to go back and forth with returning and buying and returning and buying. You know, that's just, that's just so inconvenient for us as a consumer, you know? It's like, if you're going to launch a new product, launch it on in-store and online. Don't just launch it um, online because that's just, that's just silly, right? It just doesn't make any sense for a consumer base level, you know? And you're, you're the company, you know, your, your job is to make lots of amount of the product, make great products and sell it right well if you can't sell it, if you don't freaking have it in store when it first launches so oh my god wow it's actually really pretty wow it's really really smoothing let me show you guys that is super smooth it has like medium to full coverage super smooth a glowy finish it's just the color is more orange that's the sad part the color is more orange but let me just go ahead and even out my other side and we'll see how this looks. All right, foundation is on. I just want to show you guys. So this whole side is with primer and foundation, the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. So that's this side. And then this side is just the foundation. So I definitely have to say that just based on initial impressions of me applying it, the side with no primer is more glowy and it was easier to blend. The side with the primer, it um, it kind of like tugged a little bit as I was applying the foundation, which, and it also looks more matte. So I can definitely, well, I can definitely see that this primer is going to be great for people that have really oily skin. So, or maybe you have like a really oily T-zone. I think this would be a great primer uh, in, in reference to this, just to show you again the vanish the vanish primer so this is the primer that's all on this side and it's more matte and when i was applying it it was definitely tugging so i definitely think that if you have oily t-zone or oily areas you should definitely try that primer but for me i personally like this side more because it's more glowy and more dewy and it just it blended on super smooth as compared to this side so let's finish off the makeup and i'll be right back all right, my skin is finished. Um, it is currently 228. Oh, you can't even see it. Hold on. It's currently 228. Currently 228, and this is what the skin is looking like. So again, this side is with the primer, and then this side is without the primer. So just so you guys can have a good look. This is what the skin looks like now. We'll just call it 230, just because it's easier. So I definitely have errands to run today, and so we will check back when I'm back. See you later. Hello, I'm home. It's been a long day. Um, it's currently 10.07, so I've had this on seven and a half hours. So let's take a look. I definitely have thoughts, but I want you guys to have a quick look first see if you can notice anything okay so I definitely have very mixed feelings um, initially when I put this on at 2 30 today it looked flawless and gorgeous but as the day goes on I definitely have noticed that um, the foundation gets more cakey it starts to look and it so there's two things okay the first thing is it looks cakey it gets really cakey around like my pores my cheeks all up in this whole region it's very heavy looking now the second thing is that it just it it just makes your pores look larger that porous and the heavy look comes 
it's more pro pronounced later in the day. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this new foundation. It definitely does, like it's, first of all, it's still there, which is amazing, right? The, the foundation is still there. Everything is still there. If you can tell, everything is still there. All the coverage is still there, but it just looks makeup -y. You know how when you're like in front of someone or you're close to someone, you're talking to them like, hey, how are you, right? And you're, and you're like talking to them, you know, like inches apart. You're, this is like the time where you're like thinking in your head, you're like, wow, your makeup looks heavy. That's this. This looks heavy. Like it doesn't look heavy in front of the cameras because the lights make the skin look more flawless, but in real life, my my skin looks heavy like you can tell that like it looked like i piled on five pounds of foundation so i'm definitely going to continue to give this a try i i don't know how i feel i'm it's kind of disappointing because in the beginning it's like it's flawless but now it's not so flawless it's quite heavy looking right now so i'm at this point where i just want to take it all off but i will definitely keep you guys posted in my personal opinion, I don't think you need the primer. Maybe if you have a foundation at home that you're using and you feel like the longevity sucks and you want to prolong the wear of it because this, I feel like would have a, it's great for oily skin, give it a shot. But I really, I could care for this. I don't care for that. The foundation, hmm. Mm. So to sum it up, I don't think you, I don't think you need the primer and the foundation. Give it a try, but so far from first impressions, it's quite heavy and quite porous and quite makeup-y. So, but give it a try. See how you like it. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.